What is up, man? 25 gamers. Let's hop into this defensive scheme of the week. Today we're using the, um, I believe it's the Green Bay Packers defensive playbook. If I let me double check here, should have the 155. Oh no, it's the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook uh, is what we're using this week for our defensive scheme of the week. And uh, the formation we're going to focus on is the sub two three six uh, formation. One of my favorite formations. I was using it in the beginning of the year, and I haven't really expanded on it. I think I might. Uh, feel like going back into it now after this week. I've taken a look at it for the last uh, hour and a half or so, getting this stuff ready for you guys. And uh, can't wait to break this down. Let's hop into the base play. Um, the base play we like to use from this package um, is the cover three bluff. There's a lot of things we could do with this play. And uh, there's an important feature about the sub 236 I want to show you guys right now. Okay, so uh, last year you guys remembered, I talked about it in Blitz of the Day a couple days ago. And. Um, Baseline and press sometimes changes what the formation looks like. Um, it's the same for this formation here today. Uh, when we baseline and press, you're going to see that the they basically create a very effective blitzing um, look here. You got three guys here on the right, three guys here on the left. That's the basic idea for pressure in Madden 25. So if we wanted to send pressure out of the cover three bluff, what we're going to do is we're going to spread our line, we're going to crash our line out, we're going to re-blitz both outside linebackers, and that's going to give us a simple five-man pressure concept. And we can pass commit whatever we want, and you're going to see you're going to get B gap pressure uh, right off the right up the B gap there. And so if we wanted to send it left, then we would do the same thing. The only thing that we would change is we would reblitz this guy, and then put this guy in any zone we want. So something like this. So now we should get pressure off the left, and there you see we get edge heat left. So that's the basic idea of pressure. We got it in one play, and that's the beauty of this uh, play here. Uh, now, the cover three bluff is not really a blitz. Um, well, it is, and it's not. It's not our zone blitz. Um, it's our base play, and there's a difference. We run it the same way every time. We run the cover three bluff the same way every single time. We're going to baseline press, crash line out, and re-blitz the right of screen outside linebacker. It's going to give us pressure off the right edge. What's going to happen is that guy's going to slide over. You see that, and I'm all right with that. Um... However, if you want, like I said, if you want the pressure come in, it's just basically a split decision, depending on what you want to do. Um, and what I mean by that is you can get it to come through, so like you can get to, uh, the heat to come clean. But what's going to happen is you're going to lose this really nice hook zone for Sheard here. Uh, this hook zone will snatch a lot of popular routes, puts him in great position to, to make hit sticks, and does a really good job at stopping like. Tight end streaks. Um, sometimes it'll stop slant routes. Uh, it just is a it's an awkward hook zone, so I like to use it to my advantage. But if you don't want to, and sometimes I don't want to, so I'll leave the pressure. Uh, like I said, if you want to get the pressure, just free blitz both outside linebackers instead of just the right side. Um, and then, like I said, I like to use the middle linebacker in this defense, uh, and it's just a really it really sets up perfectly for this and uh, really good pressure there. So that's the base play, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please leave a like rating and a favorite rating. And also, if you will do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I put out four videos a day for you guys getting ready for Madden. Hopefully this uh, defensive scheme of the week will be a, another good one. I've had some really good defenses broken down in the past. we got 5-2 coming next week, 2-3-6 this week. And I uh, can't wait to get the rest of this defensive scheme. So let's hop into the baseman coverage out of this formation. Thanks, guys.